فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل بالرباء الخير. One of the quickest ways of preparing to go into paradise is to seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Repent. We turn to Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sins. The more we seek forgiveness, we will be become people whose status is elevated as time passes. Once I told a young man, he told me, give me some advice. I said, constantly ask Allah's forgiveness. He said, but what if I did nothing wrong? What if I did nothing wrong? Then I had to sit and explain to say, do you know what? Istighfar and repentance is such that whether you know what you've done wrong or not, you continue seeking the forgiveness of Allah sometimes for, for anything and everything, even that you know that which you don't know. And even if you feel that you are trying your best to be as strong as possible, when you constantly ask Allah's forgiveness, your status is elevated. You become more conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once all your sins are wiped out, those statements will come to your rescue in your grave and in your life after death. So you continue worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seeking his forgiveness. This is why Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as perfect as he was, he still used to engage in repentance 100 times a day, approximately plus minus. Some narrations make mention of a little bit less and some go beyond that. So who are we? We are not messengers. We are not perfect. Why is it that we find ourselves calling ourselves good Muslims, but we haven't yet asked Allah's forgiveness. A week has passed. A month has passed. Sometimes more than that has passed and we haven't even thought about it. So my brothers and sisters, extremely important for every one of us to constantly ask Allah's forgiveness so that we can be considered good Muslims. We ask Allah's forgiveness.